Okay. Hey guys, today I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about the kite and show you, show you kite in a different part of the wind window basically. Okay guys, so first you want to start by having a good grip on the bar. Make sure both of your hands are nicely separated and as close as possible to the steering lines. Okay, so next thing, when you want to control your kite, you want to make sure you're controlling it it's like you're riding a bicycle. So you pull right or left. Try not to pull both at the same time, that will um, give more power to the kite and that's not what we want. Um, next thing, you want to make sure the bar stays as much as possible parallel to the leading edge. So if your kite goes up to the left, um, move your bar a little bit to the left. You, don't, you want your, your lines to be all straight, so you don't want to twist your lines. Pressure on your right hand. And just try to find that balance to keep your kite stable. Just, just like that. Okay? Uh, always start with a really small... So in the beginning, I would suggest always trying to do small strokes with your bar and able to control your kite right or left. That's going to help being more smooth and and it's going to make it easier in the beginning. The, uh, the right side of the wind window right now. It's, right now my kite is at 12 o'clock. I'm just going to put it down at 2 o'clock. So I'm going to slowly pull on my right hand. Okay, so here I'm about to put my kite at 2 o'clock on the right side of the wind window. So to do that, I'm just gonna pull slowly with my right hand until my kite goes on the right side of the wind window. Uh, until my kite arrives at two o'clock, I'm gonna start uh, balancing and stabilizing my kite at two o'clock, just by applying a little bit of pressure on my left hand. And uh, remember to keep the bar uh, a little bit sideways, so, so parallel to the leading edge. Okay guys, so, so this is I'm gonna to talk to you about uh, the wind window, alright? So, you have to imagine a huge clock, basically. Okay, a huge clock that goes from your right over your head to your left. So, when the kite is up over your head, that will be 12 o'clock. Okay, when it's straight up over your head. Once it's a little bit on the right side, it will be 1, 2 and 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock, your kite will be right above the water. It's also 3, 11, 10 and 9. 9 is the, is the other uh, wind window. Okay, so 9 and 3 o'clock is the two spots where you launch and land your kite. So now I'm just gonna show you, you the, uh, I'm gonna show it to you guys, just look at the kite. Right now the kite's at 12 o'clock. Okay, so here my kite is uh, positioned at 12 o'clock. So I'm gonna slowly bring it to the left side of the wind window all the way down to 9 o'clock. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of pre pressure on my left hand and as you can see here, my kite is around uh, 11 o'clock. I'm just gonna let it go down slowly on my left side all the way to nine o'clock. So remember to keep the bar nicely parallel to the leading edge and just slowly bring a kite all the way down to the edge of the wind window, which is nine o'clock. So at this area, your kite will have very, very little power. that and then I'm just gonna bring it up slowly back up to 12 always be slowly in the beginning small uh, small movement with the bar but try to be smooth relax then here I'm gonna do exactly the same thing on the right side of the wind window so I'm starting at 12 I'm going to 1 o'clock slowly down to 2 o'clock Remember to keep your shoulders always in front of the kite. If the kite is moving to your right side, make sure you're moving your body a little bit to the right side. Um, and then I'm slowly going to bring the kite all the way down to 3 o'clock, the other edge of the wind window on the right side, which is where the kite loses all the power and where I would land my kite as well. Okay, so make sure guys, when you pull your kite up to the right side of the wind window, make sure you keep both of your shoulders always in front of your kite. Hold the kite. Don't just stand still and let your kite go on your right. 
just move, move your body, twist it, and always stay in front of your kite. That I've said. I'm gonna show you this right now. So right now my kite's at 12. I'm just gonna pull it down to two o'clock. And you see I'm slowly turning my body and shoulders in front of the kite. I'm not gonna stay like this, otherwise this is uncomfortable. Both of the, uh, the soldiers in front of the kites, one feet in front of the other to, to stay more stable. And I'll do the same thing. Back up 12. Straight. Side. There you go. Okay, now guys, let's talk about uh, common mistakes. So, the first big mistake is uh, twisting the bar instead of pulling right or left. As you can see here, what I'm doing right now, I'm twisting the lines. So, you really want to avoid that. You want to keep the lines always straight and parallel. You want to pull either the right hand or the left hand. That's gonna make that's gonna steer your kite. Uh, the uh, second one is make sure the center line is always straight. You you don't want to bend the center line. Okay, B bending the center line is not gonna steer your kite left or right. Okay, so what I'm doing here is correct, and what I'm doing here is wrong. This is wrong as well. Make sure to watch the other videos for more progression.